If the sign is correct, I am under 300 kilometers until Trondheim. A lot of styles this morning so far. Whew. I just climbed up this gravel road and somehow lost the signs. I really thought I was supposed to go up this way, but I continued up and up and up and then I was looking for signs. I didn't see any and finally checked my map. I didn't really want to because I'm trying to not use data and just rely on the signs, but turns out I went the wrong way. So now I have to go back down. I don't know, not in the best mood this morning. and I'm not sure why. Uh, I have a really long day ahead. Uh, it just doesn't help that I went the wrong way and climbed all this way up for nothing because I have a lot of climbing to do today. I need to pay attention. Is this where I was supposed to go? All right, I better look at my map again because I have no idea huh, where the path is and where I went wrong. Okay, I missed it. It was just here to the left. So I was just following that path and I missed that marker. So it looks like the path goes down here. All right, it is the morning of day 14, I think. And I just recorded a few other videos and I was like complaining a lot. <laughs> and I don't know, I just decided to record it again because I don't know, like I don't like being negative, but I also don't want to like not capture that for these videos. And there's nothing bad. I'm just not in a great mood this morning. And sometimes that happens. I just wake up and feel eh, like just okay. You know, it's a gray day and it's supposed to rain this afternoon and, and that's okay. This is Norway. This is typical. I had great weather yesterday, but... The weather can definitely affect it. And, um, you know, last night I had the place I say that campground. Um, I had my own little room. I think everyone either had their own cabin or room. And it was really nice to have that privacy. And I just think that it kind of caught up with me like the last few days of all the pilgrim community in the evening, which was, and it has been really nice. It's so nice to have made friends and to recognize people and to, greet people that you've met along the way and but I just had like three or four nights of like just constant time with pilgrims in the evenings and I hadn't had time to like get off by myself and write and then the walk yesterday was it was really nice and I enjoyed it but also it did it felt like the pilgrim highway it felt like oh my arm's getting tired <laughs> I'm going to stop walking for a minute. So it just felt like I was constantly passing pilgrims, pilgrims behind me, um, pilgrims catching up to me if I took a break. So I didn't have like kind of the peace and quiet that I've gotten used to. And so that might be kind of what I'm feeling this morning a little bit, but I did get an early start and there aren't pilgrims around. I think this is going to be a really hard day. Already the first hour of walking it's just kind of up and down on an overgrown path, sort of parallel to the highway. <laughs> so, I mean, you couldn't really see it because you're in the trees, but it wasn't exactly nice walking. And it's not like we're deep into the woods yet. So not the greatest start to the day, but I am as ever going to just take all the good things that come, appreciate being here. Uh, I know they're gonna be such beautiful moments. And sometimes, you know, you just start the day, not in the greatest mood, but. Um, I think things are going to turn around. There's a rope on this bridge to I guess just help you keep your balance, especially if it's wet. Bench and a trash can, perfect spot for a break. There is a little sign there with info about the rest of the stage ahead. Um, just as I kind of was settling in for my break, it started to rain, <laughs> but it's a very light rain right now. So it also gave me a great opportunity to get my rain gear on and to prepare for the next section. So. I think 3.9 kilometers. So these next four, let's see, I think I'm going up, 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 and then down, down, down. And the info board talked about how it's really important to kind of be careful and go slowly because I think some sections are really steep. 
Oh boy, here's the rain. <laughs> I better put the video away. So this was an unexpected treat and little stop. I have a warm cup of coffee. I am all alone right now in this place with this view. This is um, like a rafting area and I think a lot of pilgrims stay here is kind of the end of a short stage from where I started this morning up until this point. It was about 13 kilometers. I'm still gonna do quite a bit more, um, but it's raining, I'm wet. I just did the two kind of big climbs. I have one more and then the last like, I don't know how many kilometers, 13, 15, 17 kilometers of the stage is gonna be flat. And this is just, it's really nice to kind of take off some of my wet stuff, put on my warm jacket, have a cup of hot coffee and just kind of sit and rest for a bit. So I didn't expect this, but I am very pleased with it. Made it up to a viewpoint with the cross and I actually think there's a tradition of pilgrims leaving a stone which I only just read about earlier today. <laughs> so let's see, you can see the pile of stones right there. Um, similarly to represent your burdens and I'm not gonna leave anything because I haven't brought anything. Um, but this is really beautiful. Even in the rain, this is beautiful. I am undercover for the first time in maybe like an hour and a half of walking, almost two hours. It felt like a lot longer because I am so wet. Everything is wet. <laughs> and I'm not even in the town yet. And then I still have at least like, I don't know, probably 16 kilometers to go. This is a long, <laughs> really hard day. All right, we're coming upon a church. So I think I've gone about four kilometers since Ada. And it means I probably have 10 to go after this. But, the, oh, it's so loud. Church should have water, which is perfect because I haven't wanted to dig in my pack to get my backup water because it's just been too wet. But there's a bit of a break in the rain. I mean, it's still raining a tiny bit, but it's so much better, so. We'll check out the church. If they have bathrooms, then I'm going to be the happiest person in the world. <laughs> All right, 6.05 p.m under 12 hours <laughs> i have made it all right let's go figure out where it's really kind of funny i came through this little kind of recreation of a village and i thought that the place where i'm staying tonight is right here and i found this little church that was open and everything's deserted i'm like this is crazy where am i supposed to go and I just checked the map and I actually think I have to walk further. So this isn't the pilgrim place yet, which is good because it's deserted. Um, but I should have a couple more minutes and I'll be there. You know, I'm so confused. <laughs> of all days to be super confused about where to go. I like checked the video that I took when I saw that sign and it did have a sign for the pilgrim lodging. So now, yeah, it's, I am so, so confused. Like now I'm potentially I'm going way out of my way and I'm walking up and I might have to double back. I don't know. I'm going to try to go to the spot in the app. Well, it's not really an app, the website and check there. So it might be, okay, maybe this is it. I don't know. Maybe there was a back way to go. We'll see. All right. Let's try this way. <laughs> okay. I'm turning back around. Because the sign that I saw points back the way I came from. And I think 
that deserted place I walked through was indeed where I was supposed to go. And there's probably one of those buildings was where I was supposed to go in. <sighs> Back at it. Drying out the insoles. <laughs>